Hello, stream. Hello, all. Yeah, just doing ourselves, uh, getting ourselves all set up at this point in time, trying to get the world working. I am Mindy J, and we're going to be starting in on the Sunken Citadel here pretty darn quick. Um, we're just, uh, I'm early, actually. I'm just, like, really, really early for the game, so I'm just kind of hanging out here. We start at 6 o'clock my time. It's, like, 1 p.m. GM time, uh, so we'll get this game underway here soon, but, uh, just wanted to say hi, and, yeah, hi, I guess, just, just hi. Uh, and we'll have some people joining in the stream here shortly, too. Uh, we'll have Jetta with us, Tarina, Hainar, and Bob Moss. I'll be here soon, so just let you know, we will be here shortly. Glad to have you with us. Yeah, yeah. So we'll be right back here once the game starts at an end. Like, seven-ish minutes.
All right, well then, I guess, welcome back. Uh, we are going to get ourselves underway. Um, so, quick little recap where we were um, last session. Um, you began the session having just met a uh, kobold uh, named Meepo, uh, who you, you managed to convince to um, take you to his leader. And doing so, you, you, met, you met the leader of this kobold tribe. Uh, she had um, basically set up this throne in a throne room after a fashion. Um, and you convinced, sort of, uh, this, uh, this kobold leader to recover a dragon that they had apparently at one point in time caged up in their dwelling. And our Meepo was, act was actually the caretaker. The dragon was stolen... Or so Meepo said, and Yuzdrail, who was the the cool leader, said, "Yes, you can have this key if you can go find the answer, uh, or go find our dragon, bring it back." And the dragon, um, or sorry, the key le uh, led you to a door that you'd already discovered. You opened up the door, and it had obviously been to a area of the of the citadel that had been um, uh, sealed for many, many, many moons. As you made your way through this uh, this facility, this area, you had to deal with uh, strange orbs that made you freak out with uh, really eerie music. You also had to deal with um, a, a large pit that you had to get across uh, and some strange small creature that appeared there as, in that space as well. And uh, eventually you got to a, play, a room where there was a sarcophagus. Um, you opened it. And out of the sarcophagus came this strange, um, skinny-looking troll creature that uh, did a bit of damage to you guys before, uh, mostly to Bob, mostly did all the damage to Bob. And then uh, you tried to figure out creative ways of getting this troll dealt with, and then after a little while, um, you just realized you had to hit it, and did so. The troll has hath been dispatched, and you guys managed to find quite the horde of things underneath that troll in the sarcophagus. Um, but at that point in time, you decided that you were going to stop, that you were going to uh, take a long rest, and that is where we pick up. So, question is going to be, if you're about to take a long rest, are you also going to leave somebody out for watch? I think we, uh, I we, have, can... we have the elves, of course. You'll... We don't need to uh, sleep that much. Yeah. Sure, sure. I so, can do, uh, um, we just one watch. Okay. So who would like to take the first watch, then? Are we going to go with Tarina taking the first watch, or Jedda taking the first watch? I will watch both. Well, you'll take both watches. That means yes. that you're going to get no sleep or no meditation. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. So Trina, yeah, now if you guys want to, don't, don't forget, you also will not level up if we. Uh, if That's right. If you don't take <laughs> your long <laughs> rest, you don't level up. <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I can one take the other two. one. It's no problem. Maybe, maybe not just a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we already make a all right. Well, well let's take Trina. I, let... I didn't. I didn't. Trina, know that. take I the I first watch. That, uh, <laughs> I didn't know all that information until now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, can you hear me? Can, yeah, we got you. I got just yeah. a second. Uh, I, awesome, I awesome. Yeah, we are just getting... And take the <laughs> we're just getting ourselves started here with the idea that we're going to be doing a uh, long rest here shortly, but we wanted to see if there was anybody taking watch, and Tarina is the one that's going to be taking watch. Uh, first watch. So, Tarina, I'm going to get you to roll for me a perception check. First roll of the session. Yes, sir. All right, let's see okay. what we get. There, okay, okay, so relatively average. Um, so as you're sitting, taking, uh, keeping watch, um, one of the things that you, uh, is there anything in particular, where, which, where are you situating yourself actually when you take your watch? Mm. Where are you going? I guess over here. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, 
Um, have, like, with that... The most local reef, yeah. Sure. So, mm -hmm. about right near the end of your watch, but you, you can kind of tell that Jed is getting to the end of their trance. Um, right at the, about that, at the end of that time, um, you start to notice the small creature to your left is kind of starting to stir. Um, doesn't seem to be as unconscious as it once was. And so you kind of look at it, and it kind of lifts its head and looks up at you, and then eyes go wide, and then, ah, and just poof, disappears. Well, what the fuck would just... What... Then all I you look hear... around if anyone else is awake. Yeah, then all you hear is... Some kind of flapping wind sounds. Oh, we got a raid, guys. Ah, I... <laughs> uh, hey, DM workshop. Rock. Okay, you know what, guys? We're going to just take a couple of moments here for the stream because we just got raided um, by GM Workshop. Uh, welcome to the Raiders. Nice. Glad to have you guys with us. That's fantastic. I am certainly not complaining at all. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Hey, and you know what? It's I'm so glad to have as many people come in here as we've got going on right now. Um, we are just starting the session. For all of those you guys who are just jumping in, we are just starting this session, and we're uh, diving into the Sunken Citadel, which is set in the community uh, or in the realm of Olivos. Um, th these you, you just came in just as a. Uh, as we were doing our, our watch on a long rest, and Tarina ended up taking a quick look to the left at this small creature that they'd already kind of knocked out, and it woke up and went, ah, and then just disappeared. <laughs> Fluttering sounds away. Tarina, anything in particular that you're doing? I, I waved my hand over the air where the creature was, like, over and over. Nothing there. Uh, was it like smoke or anything? No smoke, just poof, just absolute, just uh, completely out of your vision. Huh. All right, then uh, I turn my my head forwards, rub my eyes, and pretend that I didn't see that, <laughs> and continue on the watch. All right, and. <laughs> Fairly shortly afterwards, Jed is going to wake up from her uh, from her trance and take over watch, which means, uh, Je Jetta, would you mind throwing for me a perception check too, please? Absolutely. Oh, 16. yeah. So, uh, Tari you kind of just kind of appear around. With your 16, you do clock that there is no longer that little itty-bitty creature there. The troll is still there. Everybody else is still here. Bob is breathing. Um, but that's pretty much it at this point in time. Actually, uh, actually I rolled uh, last session. I rolled that I would be unconscious for after three hours. So I would say that shortly in, if, if I may go down a little bit, shortly in uh, yeah. uh, her session, I, I wake up a little bit. So like, oh, what sure. Happened? What happened? I'm, I'm, I'm still alive. You okay there, Bob? I, I, I look injured. I don't feel so well. <clears throat> throw, throw it out a little bit. Yeah, you took a little bit of a hit, so. Uh, I'll, I'll just talk to you guys in the morning then. Uh, uh, yeah, turn around and continue my long rest. You mind? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, <you're safe. laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> All right, and you carry on with your watch, and it turns out to be relatively uneventful. Um, at this point in time, Jeddah, Terena, and Haynar, you would all wake up, and you are all now level three. We got to give Bob just a bit more time before that can fully happen. So you guys are, um, are going to look over to Bob and say. Um, or I can't realize he's totally unconscious and he will be for a bit of time yet still. Okay. I, I wanted to ask you a quick question on the, uh, hit die. Is it roll and we, uh, it's, you can roll and if you don't like the roll, you can just take average. 
Uh, no, when it's hit dice, it's going to be a roll, and you if you 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 either choose to either roll, or you take the average. If you roll, you get to re rolls once. Okay, gotcha. All right, so okay. mark the rolls on that, but uh, I'll I'll go ahead and uh, take the average for this one. Okie doke. Uh, what are you doing, Jenna? You rolling or are you taking average? Um, I'll take average. Okay. All right. All right. And what are you doing, Tarina? Are you rolling or taking average? I'm oh, I lost Tarina. Oh, there we go. Oh, I he took the, takes the risk. Definitely. Hey, that's a one. You get to re-roll that, though. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, I can? Yeah. All yeah, right, yeah, because right. it was a one. That's my... oh! <laughs> what? Why? 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 Okay, now you actually have to keep it because that's the rule. If you get two roll, if you manage to roll two ones, then oh. it was destiny. You were supposed to have that. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, I'm going to go and try and update well, your stats, right, guys, in fine. the that's channel. Fine. So, what do we got now for hit, maximum hit points for Jetta then? What is that maximum hit um, points? Mine is a 23 now. 23? What is it for uh, Tarina then now? Uh, uh, mine was it, 18. It's be... I made it 20. So, right yeah, uh, and you, because you also add your con mod, that's good. Okay. And uh, Hainar, what is yours now? 28. 28. Alrighty. And that updates our stream just a little bit here. So, uh, people on the stream, you'll be able to see that popping up here soon. Uh, Bob, why don't we do it right now anyway? Why don't you get you to roll up here because it won't take long before we'll wake you up and we'll get things going. Are you rolling or are you taking are you taking average? Ah, sorry, I forgot I was muted. So um, oh, okay. I, I already I already rolled. It was a four. Oh did you? Yeah. Okay. And, okay, okay. Um, so that... um that would be 21 because i don't have a modifier on, on my uh con so okie doke all right well there we go so um we will uh now the pl uh yeah streamers uh the, the play thing is supposed to come to a uh private message so because it's kind of got a lot of information in it so if it doesn't work for me let me know because i'm still trying to get that thing fixed but everything else you can, if you want to you can get involved in the game um as we go i will be asking in the game uh, chat for you guys to roll for me from time to time and so feel free to do so when the message comes up on the screen to do so um, and one of those times may be coming up pretty quick for that matter too but um, you can also um, lurk if you want or unlurked if you if you just want to kind of listen into what kind of nonsense and shenanigans happen because now we're going to say everybody is late waking up from your, Bob is now completely waking up from your long rest before that happens though Hainar, Jetta, and Trina, is there anything in particular you guys would be doing while you're waiting for Bob to wake up? Uh, probably for me, it would be... Um, you, you're going to see him um, sitting down and basically uh, inscribing runes onto uh, two items. So, for one, he's going to ins inscribe one rune onto the uh, onto the shaft of his axe. And he's going to inscribe another rune onto, uh, onto a ring that he basically has on his pinky. So... You'd be seeing him do that if you're going to be doing any anything like that. You'll basically just see him kind of inscribing it and humming away while he's working on it. Um, a sm right. small correction, Windy. It's 23 because I did have a, a modifier on my con plus two. I didn't could not see that in the leveling process. Oh yes, but I, I ended up with 23. So the four Rock is just the clean, the clean roll. Just still had to be uh, plus two. Gotcha. You are now updated. All right, Tarina and Jetta, anything else aside from watching a dwarf uh, etch runes into their things? Um, I uh, see... lean over his shoulder. Oh, sorry, go on. Oh, you're all good. Um, so you see uh, Jetta um, kind of thinking about the events that have happened and being like, maybe I should prep some healing spells for once. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that. So <laughs> she just all right, you ready. go ahead. <laughs> nice. Tarina, what are you doing then? I lean over Hainan's shoulder and uh, ask inquisitively, is that a ritual? Oh, this. Uh, it's uh, oh, it's good luck. It's 
good luck. And he kind of just smiles at you. It's what a kind of luck. Huh? Dwarven well, luck, I'm guessing. Hey, dwarven luck. Same kind of luck yeah, that got you. Huh? Hmm? It's the same kind of luck that gets you to drink uh, way past your uh, your limit. You know, kind of like you did when I first met you. I think that's just alcoholism. Hmm? <laughs> ah, he, he, kind of he kind of shrugs. Uh, halfling. He's like halfling, runt. Same thing. <laughs> you think I could? You think I could have some of that dwarven look? Uh, I, and I'm going to. Uh, he says, "Lean down." I do so cautiously. All right, and I basically just kind of, yeah, I, I bust out a little bit and rub my hands together dramatically and sit there and hum for a second. And go, uh, and, and he just kind of like sits around, hums to himself, and sits there, kind of like, uh, you know how? What's the name of that like Catholic ceremony where they put like ash on your forehead? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's uh, so, that's so, that's uh, Ash Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do that similarly with kind of like mud, and basically sit there while humming, and uh, uh, <laughs> and write, <laughs> write, uh, write some fun words in Dorvish, and uh, no. and, and pat him on the side of his hand head and say, "There you go. Don't worry, lad. You you're going to be protected at all costs." You think uh, you could? Uh, and I'm also going to over to here. And I'd like so cut Tarina, him up and I'm going to get my arm. Hmm? The wooden arm. Oh, oh what? You want me, uh, you're presenting the wooden arm to him? Yeah, presenting. Yeah. Like, and then said, like, can you can you draw a rune right over here? You want me to draw it or carve it? <laughs> uh, carve it. That's more. Okay, mind. before that happens, <laughs> Tarina and Hanar. Tarina, I want you to roll an. Uh, an um, uh, an insight check. Hey, Nar, you got to roll that deception check, buddy. Damn it, I thought I could sneak by you. Fuck, I was close. So, Tarina, just to be clear, before you offer your arm and before you say carving versus mud, um, you know that Haynar's full of it. I do. You know he's just <laughs> completely full of shit. I do, but I want a cool scar. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> All right. Let's see what he's gonna roll with it. But but it's on the wooden arm, so we probably have to use an axe. No, he's uh, or something. I have, dagger. I have a dagger, so I'm not worried. Oh yeah. Metal yeah, go for axe, it. Though. That's metal. Oh. Yep. So, uh, what are you ready? Actually, before you answer this question, is there anybody else here who actually knows Dvorvish? I do not. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, Hainar, I don't. You get to, you get to say, you get to decide what you're writing on his arm, and, and I'm gonna get you to send it to me in a in a in a private message somewhere, um, oh, just so I, so so that when we do come across somebody who does actually understand Warbush, we can have some fun with this. Okay, um, go ahead and etch it in. Hi. I think I've got an idea what I'm gonna go for. <laughs> awesome. Uh, All okay. right. I'll I'll, uh, I'll DM. Uh, let's see, where are you? I'll DM it to you now. But please continue. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, you go through this whole wonderful ritualistic type process without actually having any side of this, any sort of divine intervention whatsoever on Tarina's um, branch-like arm, and as you just kind of finish the last swipe, Bob starts to kind of stir awake, and so you guys now have your level up complete for your whole group. What are you going to do? Meepo is now also awake in the corner and just kind of sitting and trying, uh, sitting and waiting for you guys to all kind of be ready to go. Is there a way to just How will you... drag all of the level two spells? Is there a way to drag all the level two spells? Oh yeah, you should be able to go to the little eye icon at the top of your roll twenty, and uh, just type in the spell that you want in. And you just drag it straight onto your sheet, and it'll automatically put it there for you. Actually, what I already was doing at this time, so you can use this site uh, to uh, to see what all the spells are that you need to get Beautiful. out. Beautiful, thank you. <laughs> um, I will oh, use okay. uh, the first uh, ten minutes after I wake up to uh, first of all uh, get rid of the hangover. Maybe yeah. take a take a sip of alcohol from uh, from my compadre. 
and uh, prepare some some spells that I want to use for the day. And I'm still copying them, so I'll just post them in the chat what I will uh, be using this day. For sure, for sure. You hear Jetta just go, you had booze and you didn't tell us? <laughs> Hi! What the hell, man? Oh, now, now I see why, uh, why they're... Uh, oh, I, I, meant I, take, I, 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 I meant I would take a sip from uh, from Hainar, uh, assuming you had uh, alcohol on you. That's what I meant. Hmm? How do you think, because I'm a dwarf, I have alcohol on me. That is completely, <laughs> utterly contentious. Depends on how much you want to pay the alcohol for, though. Well, slightly sleep in and heard somebody over overheard somebody telling you're alcoholic. So I am no such thing. Well, I am no such thing. But aside from that, <laughs> here we are. He's like, take only a sip, though. I've only got so much. I'm a big fella. I need more than a little sip. <laughs> <laughs> Take sip. Thank you. We did almost die because we thought a toilet was a keg. Very true. You did do that, <laughs> and you were basically you were attacked by a steam method made of what you thought was alcohol, uh, and it wasn't actually alcohol. So you were all very disappointed once the steam effort was was no longer with you. So Meepo is going now. Now that you're all awake, Meepo's going to look to you all. Um, I. I don't see a dragon here. You're still here? Oh, yeah. I, thought, I would have thought he would have ran away. I'm kind of surprised. Oh. I also thought that you meant Meepo, who went like poof and. T -t -t -t. Oh, no, it wasn't Meepo. It was the other little thing that came and attacked you guys first that you guys one shotted. Oh, God, the closet. Yeah, the closet. Wait, you got Wait, that it's it's... Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Meepo is still here in the room with you, and uh, he looks like he feels relatively comfortable in your presence, which uh, you can only assume is because you guys just killed a troll in front of him and, he, and protected him. How are you doing, Meepo? I would have thought you ran away. I, 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 I'm ready to find. Calcrix. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll find him. We'll go find him. Okay. Uh, I'm confused, because Eustrail said... I we were doing that. Yeah, well, uh, oh. Okay, well, uh, uh, Eustrail made me think this was the way to go. And so, I'm confused. Is there another way in? Do you think he was trying to kill you by making us run into a troll? I don't know. It seems oh, already kind of thinking. mean. Oh, I'll have that. I'll have some words with that guy. Oh boy. Fuck that she's, guy. Yeah, she's gonna have words with him. Yep. What All kind of I... words? Well, anyway. Um, and then I just get out my mace and start <laughs> like stroking it. <laughs> Her strange interest in the mace aside, she's gonna present a mace. To You're him. gonna murder. No, no, no. Him. She's nah. She's got. She's gonna present that mace to him as a present to make him feel better. And Meepo's like, "That's a soul." Oh, okay. And <laughs> starts to <laughs> walk towards the pit. Like, then let's go. All right. Last anyway, session, last session you were still his best friend, and now suddenly you are threatening him. What? What's this? <laughs> I'm not threatening him. I'm threatening his leader. Uh, yeah, no, look, all right, we need to find where those goblins are, first thing first, before we, we go assault oh, anybody. That's a murder plot. We're not murdering anybody. Right now, we gave him his word that we're going to go and look for, uh, God, I'm sorry, I'm actually forgetting what the hell it was. Because we made a deal with him that we would go, we'd borrow his key and we'd go. Uh, yeah, so was, for yeah, the, yeah, the leader of the kobolds are, is named Usedrail. Yeah. And she, yeah, she's the one who gave you the key. All right. Um, Meepo is going to go over to that entrance, and the rope that you guys tied to the head of that sarcophagus is extremely stretched right now um, beca because you knocked the 
lid of the sarcophagus off and the, and the thing that was holding the rope in place went over as well. But it's still tight enough that Meepo is able to crawl across that pit and get back. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to jump it again. Just like last time. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And, and for... Hang on, actually, I don't remember how that turned out. That, I feel like somebody almost fell in. Uh, no, we actually made it... I think we actually made it pretty well. Pretty easy, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well then, well, then we'll just let it go. We'll just say that you guys can eat, can jump across that pit again. It may be a little bit of a running start to get get you guys across, but you guys can totally do that if you want. Cool. I'm taking my rope when I uh, get back around. Okay. Um, how are you taking your rope when you get back over? Hmm? Uh, for that... Are you... Oh, that's easy. Like, uh, are you jumping across? Oh, no, no, no. I'm or... getting Tarina to do it. I'm going to have Tarina loop the uh, the other side down and then jump the pit. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Just, you know, got to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, he's... Uh... Um... Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. I'm... Like I said, I'm done. Okay. So... Are you where are you guys going next? Are you guys going all the way back to the to the leader to the front again? Uh, we're I'm gonna head basically because we cleared this side of the room out. So uh, Henar would of course make the suggestion that we need to find the goblins first because we gave his word first. We don't need to start anything until we finish what we started. So I would say we we check that other because there was another door that we didn't check. That I know of, because this was a, a separate side area that we didn't check. So I think it was. I'm trying to right. remember which one it was. Uh, past this, because we came through here, and then you have this room of darts. I don't know if you want to re-roll those. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta re-roll those. Yeah, I should. Because uh, like you guys didn't get rid of those. No, we got. We were, we were gonna have to do that anyway. I was just gonna see what you guys, what you guys' target was, what you guys wanted to do. Yeah. So it's basically where, uh, for me, it's gonna be on exploring the the section we didn't explore. That would be what I would okay. suggest. Okay. I'm not so keen on following your suggestions anymore. Last time I almost died. That's because <laughs> you didn't do what I said. Like you told me to open the sarcophagus and. I told you to open a sarcophagus. I never said to fight what's inside. That was your own doing. Didn't even get a chance to scratch my belly straight open and I pass out, so I don't know how you fought it, but... Well, don't pick fights <laughs> with things you can't win. I thought we'd been okay. See? She did fine. And she's half in her size. And I'm yes, a quarter I'm... in her size. I'm, I'm grateful that you guys didn't leave me. Nah. Stay with me to watch over my unconscious body. Nay, I gave him a word. I would have healed you, but I was kind of out. Well, uh, a good night's sleep always works. Aye. Now, about these darts. So, yeah, you guys are about to step into the room that you guys already had a whole bunch of... Um, air well, somebody got stuck with an arrow. I think that was Bob, actually, that got mm -hmm. stuck with an arrow. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah we've, well, you're t you're a little bit of a larger creature compared to many of the other people in your party. So um, <laughs> he, came, he came in and yeah. tell Henar to be careful and the gut yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah. So you guys can you guys can actually step into the room and look up to see where these arrows are coming from. Is there anything special you're going to do, or are you just going to run for it? Oh no, I'm I'm going to say, Meepo, come here. Stick your head in there and tell me if you see uh, if you see exactly where they are. Meepo, don't do it. I said stick his Oh no, head Meepo's in there. gonna look. Yeah. Yeah, he's just gonna look in. Okay, so Meepo's just gonna look in. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is our first roll. Let's ask the the party to, the world to do this. Uh we're gonna roll D twenty if you guys don't mind, please. So that is anybody out there who would like to roll this for me in the chat. Let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Um meanwhile. Uh, so he's kind of looking around the door frame and just kind of looking straight up. Um, well, I think... Um, yeah, 10. Okay, so Pengen again. Thank you for that one. A a Dak will use yours next. So Pengen... Pe Pengen I I'm going to say this wrong so many times. Pengen again. Um, uh, rolls for... And Meep's like, well, it, they come out of there. Uh, All right. I, but they're up there. <laughs> I got an idea. Hold on. And basically, I reach into my bag here. Let me see. If I, I know I can find something here. 
Oh no, it's perfect. That's easy. I'm gonna take one of the torches I've already burnt and hand it to him. Like it, it's not on fire. Okay. It's already been torched. So all right, I need you to step in there where they're nice and safe, but you know they're safe at, and then mark them off with an X. Mark off the places where they're safe to step off with an X, which you already know. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, now we're gonna roll. Uh, now we're gonna use Dax's roll. So you take uh, Meepo takes the torch and he kind of ekes in a little bit, kind of puts his little clawed foot forward, uh, scrapes a little bit on the ground, leans a little bit. Nothing happens, and so then he takes his other foot and leans in just a little bit, and he kind of scratches at the floor, toof, right above his head. Manages to duck, duck out of the way. Okay, not there and just kind of marks it with ash from the from the torch mm -hmm. and then he goes again to, uh, then he tries for a different towel and scratches there and poof, again dodges it <laughs> kind of looks back to you and says um you either have to jump or uh do something with the hole hmm. that's your well 18 that's dax 18 that got that one Hmm. He basically just kind of, uh, well, thank you, Dax. And I'm going, uh, hmm, he's going to kind of scratch his, uh, his, uh, his beard for a second. So I got an idea. And, uh, cause I'm trying to think, cause the thing is, is that it's, it's two and two, right? So these two are both rigged, right? No, actually he, you're able to tell, and I'll actually draw what he was able to find for you. I'll draw that real quick. Okay. Um, it was, he was able to find for sure that it right there is covered. Okay, cool. So that's give it to you? Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. If that's the case, then... All right. He's like, hmm. Well, all right. I, I guess we got no choice. Uh, no big deal, though. And I'm just going to put my shield and uh, put it over my head. Uh, hop right in here. Basically, uh, okay. And... Uh, because I'm trying to remember. Because I remember also. God damn it. Because I remember Henar also triggered one of them. But thank God he was, <laughs> Yeah, he did. Yeah, so I'm trying to remember. Was it A or B? Um, yeah, I'm going to say that I triggered this one, I think. So I'm going okay. to hop this one. All right. Roll yourself a deck save. Damn it. Fucking, I knew it. Oh, well. <laughs> nice, thanks, Bob. Hey, hey, nice roll. So you're able to act not just jump. You don't actually just leap to that corner. You actually leap. Whoops, that's the wrong tool. You actually leap yourself fully across the entire room, Holy and shit. kind of you, you manage to actually as you leap across, you kind of lose your step at the end and kind of fall into the wall, but. You cleared the area, so you didn't. Have, none, none of the arrows jumped across. So, me, so Meepo's gonna look at you and say, "Okay," and just jump as well. Um, we'll go for that another roll call. How are you guys? How are the rest of you guys gonna go through this? I'm gonna jump too. <laughs> oh God, not long jump. Baby. All right, Jetta, roll that dexterity saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let me pull that up. And so you kind of... Actually, let's do it this way. Let's do it Let's do it a fun way. Let's do, Let's get a little bit interesting on this. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Let's try. Uh, and how are you going to get across then, Bob and Tarina? The arrows uh, came from the... <laughs> Sorry, go Bob. The arrows came from above the head, like right above the doorway, as you guys are walking okay. in. So, like you know, it'll shoot out of the top there. I, uh, I grab my friend who wants to uh, ride on my shoulder, <laughs> hold him under my one arm, hold up my wooden little wooden shield above my head, and just this is a story to take back. Just <laughs> casually walk with a big. <sighs> over the room <laughs> oh jeez all right um of course trying okay to, 
trying to avoid the tiles that I do know. I think it's two or three. Yeah, the moment I see you lumbering through, I'm just going to step calmly outside the room. <laughs> yes. All right. So, okay. Oh, good lord, Pengen. Okay, oh, no, okay, okay, one. okay. This is going to be fun. fun after <laughs> I go through. Yeah, actually, here's... So here's what's actually going to happen. Bob, you're going to watch as Meepo and Jetta both decide to jump across at the same time. However, they both jump to the exact same spot, and so they end up colliding. Now, Jet is a bit bigger than Meepo, and Meepo rolled a nat 1 thanks to Penguin again. So, um, but, and Jetta was going to be doing this with advantage anyway, because he'd al she'd already seen where Hainar went. Um, but the collision made things interesting. Meepo has to do a deck save, uh, had, had to do a deck save, did not succeed, and so I'm gonna have to get the roll out here. I forget. I think the roll was. I'll look for the roll here. And Bob, um, you're gonna need to do a deck save for me as well while I'm getting this information up here real quick. At Meepo, uh, Pengen, Meepo is actually a kobold. That their kobold guide. And and does uh, hold, holding the shield above my head give me any sort of advantage or a plus on my roll? Um, we're gonna see how much. We're gonna say that it, it makes a know. makes a difference on your damage, perhaps. Right. Depending on your roll, let's put it that way. It depends on your roll. Oh, <laughs> couldn't have rolled lower than that. Uh, yeah, no, it's not gonna provide you with much assistance whatsoever. I, so, okay, I like it is. Oh. arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right, so we're gonna make this one here. This is for Meepo. Um, no. and because of that absolutely rut, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, um, so because of that absolutely rotten, um, uh, uh, deck save for Bob, uh, it's going to be one of these lovely things as well, so, <laughs> one sticks Meepo right through the neck, and he just kind of flops to the ground beside you. Bob, you walk through, and it kind of one of them kind of gets you in the shoulder as you're Whoa. walking through. You you walk all the way through, but it catches you in the shoulder as you're going through. So Meepo is now He's currently like Are you okay, all the way across. Are you okay, Torina? I think one caught me on the uh, on the shoulder, but is he um like bleeding out? Or... Oh yeah. Yeah, he's bad. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna lean down and cast a uh, spare and the dying. Okay. <laughs> so he is. Now that's a cantrip, right? Yes. What does? Yeah. Spare the dying is used. Oh, okay. Just... That... that was like an extreme spell or like necromancy. Uh, you pat him on the back and say, "You'll do. You'll be okay, buddy." And it actually works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so Meepo is now. I mean, he was about to die, but you immediately tap him on the on the shoulder, and he seems stabilized immediately. The the bloody bleeding stopped, just kind of like co immediately coagulates, and that's it. So, your kobold guide is now unconscious on the ground, having just been skewered by a bolt. Bob's got a bolt. Torina, I, uh, glad I how are you walking through? <laughs> Torina, I was carrying. Uh, wasn't I with Bob? Yeah, I care too. Yeah. Oh, are you carrying him? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. So that oh, that means I have to I, choose I, who's going to get this damage. I uh, like I uh, um, caught up and uh, caught an arrow for him, basically. Now we'll let that play. Yeah. Okay. So you guys have now made your way past this skewer trap, this wonderful arrow trap, not without a little bit of damage. I pull out the the, the ball in my shoulder. <laughs> Again with you. And healing word on myself. Ah, there you go. Go ahead, roll it. You really treated that. You really treated that like a toothpick. Full health. So, Jenna, what are you going to do with Meepo? Because we've got people in the chat invested in Meepo now. That's so... what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going <laughs> to heal him. Um, I'll give him a. Are you. It's the second healing spell we're wasting on this guy, yeah? Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's taking up all of your healing spells. He's already so you're gonna bring him back to health? NPC, yeah. 
Um, okay, you better roll it back. Roll it in then. I'll do a first level, level cure wounds. Uh, upon seeing a first like... level cure wounds. Okay, good for it. Go for it. Uh, oh yeah. And so you? as you place your as you place your hands on him, Hanar, what are you saying as she, as yeah, yeah. Jed is placing her hands on him? Hanar is gonna kind of roll his eyes and be like, "That soft heart's gonna get you killed." Then Jed is just gonna say, "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> All right, it's your pet. So Jed, Jed puts her hands on on uh, Meepo's uh, uh, chest, one hand on the on the wound on the neck, and just uh, and as she finishes saying, "Shut the fuck up," just pulse into it. And Meepo, immediately you could feel the skin stitch up underneath your fingers, and Meepo kind of bats his eyes and and looks up at you. Go right there, little buddy. Looks just just looks you with this full tilt grin on, which of course has all sorts of teeth that suddenly show up as well. And now, <laughs> and just puts his arm up around your neck and just lifts himself up. I'm gonna nudge with you. I'm gonna nudge the giant. And say I think that day's gonna stop worshiping the dragon and go to her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll help him up. All right. Um, you as you come back into this chamber, the orb that was causing some interesting things for you guys earlier on uh, is still glowing. <laughs> Nobody touches the orb. Nobody goes near it. Remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, tell your pet too. <laughs> He's his uh, own Meepo's person. Like, uh -huh. I. I not going to touch the orb. I'm not interested in it. But you guys can still hear the faint tinkling sounds emanating from the orb as you guys make your way through. Yeah. Okay, and Meepo is just basically on your arm the entire way. Okay. We'll just keep you guys going through here. <laughs> like it's like taking a toddler out of like kindergarten. She's like <laughs> stooping yeah. down and walking. Uh, yeah, pretty uh, much. <laughs> all right, let's see. Anyway, back back to here. So, I'll get you guys just to pause because I can I can do a couple things here real quick. Um, are you guys planning on going to the Kobold leader first, or are you going to go check out that door that you guys that Hanar was talking about? Which one are you going to do? My vote's the door. The other group is uh, it's up to them. And that's, I would that's... second the door. Mm -hmm. well, I'm the deal. It. You can open yeah. it yourself, Hanar. Bye. Fine by me. But if more arrows come, you're no. taking them. And it kind of just grins. Okay. So... I don't want to go piss right, off so... the leader before we explore more of this place. Fair enough. All right, so I'm going to get you guys... I'll move to some tokens here real quick for you guys. Uh, just bear with me as I do so. Shlump. Shlump. Plunk. And shlump. Plunk. And shlump. Plunk. There we go. Okay. So, you guys kind of make your way back through that main entrance that you guys been, came into the Citadel from. Uh, and you're make, now making your way back to the same room that um, the uh, you first met Meepo in. And so that room has a cage in it, had that great big campfire spot. Uh, and as you step in, um, you guys will you guys you guys can now step in as you see fit, as you want to walk in. Okay, cool. Uh, well, as as agreed upon, I'm going to basically. Oh, I. Hey, it looks like Jedi. I see. I see. Gestures to you, yeah. No. <laughs> Wait. He kind, of, he kind of laughs. He kind of chuckles for a second there and just say, "Talking a lot of shite for someone in kneecap height." <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, and he just sits there and, and first thing first, usual uh, routine. He's going to uh, poke the door to see if it's loose, like if it can just be pushed open. Oh, it's already open. I oh, think, it is. isn't it? I don't think so. Yeah, it's already open. You guys oh. just left it open. Oh, cool. All right. In that case, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, it's just an empty room. Or are you talking about... I see. <laughs> no, we, we, I remember... Oh, that room. You were talking about that room. Yeah, my bad. my bad, actually. That room was all had already been inspected by Bob earlier on. Yeah, yeah my bad, my bad. Anyway, we were distracted by booze. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Potential booze. Very true. Yeah. Potential boots, which yeah. was very ended up being very deadly. Yes. Yes. Anyway, he uh, 
feels like we're walking a little bit back and forth, so where are these? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> enemies that we have been looking for. All right, let's step through here, and I believe it Okay, and immediately, hmm? as you step in, three kobolds to your right on the other side of the campfire, they all kind of look to you like, ah! and they got spears drawn, and they look very frantic at the moment. Hi, talk to your king. Just here, uh, passing through. It's okay. Was that you? Meepo! Meepo? Again, Meepo will come step in. Um, I, 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 yes? She's like, whoa, what are you doing? As it kind of looks at the other three, and like, whoa, what are you doing? The other three are like, what's going on? There, uh, There's just full on, and it just kind of drops into Draconic, and it's just full on confusion. Who speaks Draconic, by the way? I feel like there was one person who does. I don't, I don't think any of us do. That's why we brought no. people along. I was trying to translate stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah. So yeah, they just drop in draconic. They're just bad, like just badgering at each other. The three people, the three kobolds with spears in their hand, they're all like, and they're pointing up to the uh, to the roof, and they're pointing to, to a room beside them, and one of them's got their head just kind of covering their head all the time. Ah, <sighs> whatever. All right, off I go. Let's check. Uh, let's see. It's this door that we didn't look at. Um, is there anything I can see behind the kobolds? Uh, you do see in this space, because they, they've all got... There's there's some torch light in here. Um, you guys can see that there is a door uh, behind the kobolds, and um, that's pretty much it in this space, aside from the stuff that you've already seen before. And I don't think we went through those doors before. Not yet, no. Okay. So, um, Bob, uh, Tarina, is there anything speci special that you guys are doing? I'm just gradually staying at the back, watching Haynar do the talking. Oh, he, he's done. Right. Talking. He's just right. gonna, he's, he's gonna let Meepo handle these uh, these uh, these guys, and then basically he's gonna start poking, uh, or he's gonna poke okay. the door to see if it's open or not. See if it can All right. be moved. Uh, go ahead and roll your investigation check. Cool. Tarina, what are you doing? Uh, I'd like to watch the conversation kind of closely, like to pick up any hints of anything yeah. useful, like deception or something like that. Sure, why don't you roll just an insight a, check? Maybe just you keeping can an ear glean up. what they're talking about. So, Haynar... So, Tori, Torina, you roll that insight check, and we'll get that going. Um, and, Hanar, I'm going to... Uh, you check out the door. It doesn't oh. seem like it's locked. It doesn't seem like there's any damaging things around it. feels like it's just a door. All right. Then the usual routine. Step to the side, and then basically nudge it open with my pommel. All right. Let's nudge the door open. And as you open up the door, what you see is very much a very... Uh, just a... Regular door, a little bit of dust and crumble and bits of uh, rock that may have kind of chipped off the side of the building. Um, just an empty room for the most part, aside from a little bit of dust and rubble. Okay, move to the next door. Okie doke. Um, with that insight check, you have no idea what it is that they're saying until Meepo actually turns around to you and says, Um, they're afraid of bats. Uh, oh, are there bats in here? <sighs> And while the other kobolds, uh, one of the other kobolds, says, just one, and it's nasty. Uh huh. One bat? Has it picked up any of you? I was just about to ask. <laughs> well, um. And they, they, you see the three kobolds start to look at each other, and they're, and they're like, one of them is like, it was huge. It was like. This and it made such a racket. And they, it's incredibly just, small. It's just flapping about. It's just a bat. <laughs> oh, for for you, everything is small. I hear that's what the ladies tell you. Oh, she's you too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So Meepo. Uh, of those doors to the, <laughs> to the north of here. He just changes the subject. 
Meeple, will say, uh, Meeple looks to you. Uh, <laughs> Hana, are you checking out that other door as well? Of course, poke it. D usual routine. Okay. Yep, investigation check again. Meeple will say, um, I, that is... What is that too? And one of the other kobolds says, Oh, that's the back way to the goblins. Wait, the way to the goblins was... And could have <sighs> just told us that like two days ago and before we died and almost and shakes his head. Like the stupidity of these kobolds is beyond <laughs> understanding. Meepo, I think your leader tried to get us killed. Meepo's, or, ki I, I, Meepo's I, kind of putting two and two together here, starting to think a little bit, and uh, that can't be it. I, I pat on Jenna and that's, say, in his de in his defense, I shrug at him. Never contribute uh, maliciousness, but can easily be uh, explained with stupidity. At least that's what I hear. The Meepo looks at you. That was deep. <laughs> I, I would have. <laughs> I kind of like look at him and I scratch my head and I'm like, I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised you actually picked that up. Anyway, which way was the goblins? And the one that you, the kobold besides you is, is that way. Watch for the bats! And it just kind of starts running across the other room, just looking just looking to the roof I... the entire time. All right, and he pointed to this So you one. didn't, you know, you didn't check that other door, is that right? Yeah, I was just about to ask you. I thought you peeked inside, but we didn't hear. No, because as yeah. soon as no, 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 I peeked inside this door. When uh, when he right. said where the goblins are, it's like okay, he he's only interested in going there first. He doesn't. He got distracted once. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So you guys could step in that door if you wanted to. These kobolds are not getting in your way. They're letting you through. Sure. Yeah. Uh, usual routine. Poke the door open. All right. Now I'll roll that investigation check. Cool. Hmm. Right, let's get this up. Investigation. Here we come. Hey. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you do a very thorough inspection of this door, uh, and it, it occurs to you that the last door you may have been a little bit haphazard and probably shouldn't have been this time you actually look above the door frame to see if there's like any arrows that could possibly be launched from something above the door frame you're pretty convinced this is just a door as well okay uh, i was gonna say if there were air sl uh, there were air slits there he just fixed to laugh so hard but uh yeah <laughs> go ahead and poke it open all right nope went too far on my thingy here we go so you now open up the door and on the other side, you basically just see a corridor. Again, a uh, kind of dusty. What you do notice, though, this time as you're stepping through this corridor, is there's actually um, some extra. The layer of dust ha it has been disturbed a little bit. And if you wanted to kind of determine how it's been disturbed, you're going to need to uh, roll a survival check. Okay. Uh, I'll go for that. It's flat roll. Let's let's go for it. Not a great roll, but okay. I'll take it. There's dust. Okay. I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> can I try the help? Okay. Yeah, you can try the help. Go ahead and roll Go ahead and roll it yourself. Okay. Just because this is one of my skills. If you roll a three, I will laugh. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, you did not roll a three. So... Um, oh, I'm going to make sure I find that just right. Just one moment. Yeah. Um, oh, I lost my note on that one. Hang on one sec, guys. I'm going to pu pull that information up here real quick for you. <laughs> that is... Theoretically... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong page. That'll make a big difference. That'll make a big difference. Okay. Okay. So... So the tracks in the dust... You do see some tracks in the dust. And you did, like just get what you needed to get on that so you can see that there are some foot uh track there's some foot traffic through here uh and foot traffic by way of humanoid foot traffic that is probably kind of that has been covered a little bit with dust so it's probably around three to three weeks to a month old no not quite that long more like two weeks nonetheless mm -hmm. it's been kind of disturbed by what seems to be like rat tracks 
Maybe those, those are tracks of my former party. All right, Torino. Was your you party say? rats? Oh no, more oh, of man. a more Elgi's family. There's Elgi, it's like a family reunion. <laughs> both tracks, right? Humanoid or, or rat-like? Uh, there was humans. Yeah. Exactly. Or humanoid. Yeah, How about you go through first? I thought that's the past three rooms. Are you really that lad, uh, yell livered? I'll do it. Look, Torina's willing to do it. <laughs> no. I step in. <laughs> I passed Nothing more happens. than one room. The dust oh. kind of goes pff, underneath your foot. Okay. I'll cautiously make my way forward, but making sure to look around. The entire room as I do so. Yep. Sure, sure. Roll out a perception check as you're going through. Okay. For once, we actually could have used a road, but... <laughs> twelve. <laughs> Alright, twelve, yeah. With this twelve, in, it, you are able to see that this is kind of a... Kind of sensing the smell and the sense of the air is just kind of... It's a little bit more open than perhaps the other channel, uh, the, sorry, the, than some of the other places you've already been in here. It feels a little bit more open, but it's still quite musty in here. And dark, right? It's quite dark, yes. Okay. So yeah, you I can see. No, I'm yeah. for a book, so I don't have dark vision, so I light a torch. Okay. All right. So let's get that torch lit if you haven't already got it. I think you still have it, don't you? Yeah, I think I still have it. Doesn't matter. I'd rather okay. see anyway. We only see, like... What is it? Uh, pitch black acts as dim light for us. I think it's the way dark vision works, or something like that. But anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, you've already got that set, so you're good to go. To, uh, so you guys can step in, and there's nothing of major concern at this point in time. It seems like a hallway that turned to the right. I'll keep pressing my way down and motion for the others to follow. Yeah, no her. problems. The Kobold's going to be right beside you guys as well. Uh, is Tarina coming? <laughs> Why don't you... Uh... Uh, Tarina actually just sent me a quick little message, so Tarina is actually going to have to step away from the game. Oh. So, Tarina, what I'll do is I'll have you kind of keep with the group. Yeah. And um, we'll just we'll just kind of have you still with the group, but not necessarily directly involved, like, like the dodge action kind of thing. So, you know, when life happens and you got to go, you got to go, buddy. That's all there is to it. All right. All right. I'll, on see, my I'll see you guys and... next week. Sorry Thank about for, uh, this. Week. Sounds great. Hey, no problem. No worries, Trina. Take care of yourself. You want to ride along on my shoulder, little Meepo? Be my eyes in the dark. And the kobold... I can do that? And just immediately turns around and, and, and clambers up onto your shoulders. Um, he's, You're wearing him like a backpack now. Okay, so what I see in front of you right now is the bum of a very uh, short, bearded person, um, and uh, they're kind of going through our hallway oh, look, right look, now. Look away, look away. Don't look at the bum. <laughs> oh, don't look at the bum? Okay. <laughs> look at nice mares, I'm sure. At least we're, we're, like, we're like one and a half meter difference, I think. He's like uh, oh. two feet, I'm six feet, so... No, the, uh, <laughs> no, no, you're. I'm five nine. You're, you're six feet. So it's like you know, four foot different. Yeah, but, yeah, but I mean, the, the kobold is like. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the kobold's tiny. Yeah. Uh, you continue. The, there's a long hallway at the end here, and all, you do now see uh, Jetta a door at the end of the hallway. <gasps> it's a door, but um, can I investigate just to make sure there's nothing that would. Was... Harm us on the way over. <laughs> yes, absolutely you can. Check for traps. This is your investigation check. Very Paranoia. wise call. Uh, 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 well. Um, you're very certain that there are no traps in this corridor. Looks safe to me. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm trusting Jenna on this one. <laughs> I just walk And you make it through the, the hallway. Yeah, you make it through this corridor. Unscathed. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're now at the door. All right. It's a door. We got yeah, this. It's a door. Um, are you going to check the door or are you just going to open it? 
Does it open? It can open, yes. You check, you check the handle, and just opens. All right. I'll cautiously step in. All right. And what you see in here is another empty chamber, and it's... Now you're starting to notice these tracks, are, the, particularly the rat tracks, are starting to get a little bit more plentiful and overlapping each other, and you now see some rat droppings in this room as well. Um, the rest of the room is just simply crumbled flagstone, and, uh, and, and there's a few stains on the flagstone of a brown nature. Um, and it doesn't smell good. Yeah, you're right. This room smells like shit. I'm gonna cautiously go I, I just, to the next I just door. Kind of, I just kind of look at her and just kind of non go. And water is wet. All right. Yeah, yeah. Are you? Um. Are you guys? Are you guys actually try, saying all this stuff like whispering? Or are you guys speaking this out loud? Or what do you? How are you guys doing this? As quiet as a dwarf can whisper. Uh, take that at what you may. Okay, then I'm gonna get the quiet dwarf to uh, to roll a stealth check. <laughs> oh shit! Ah! And anybody else who's also trying to be sneaky and quiet, I need you to roll that stealth check for me too. Can I give I... anyone my blessing of the trickster? I uh, this is one of those things you wouldn't have known was gonna happen. Okay, gotcha. I, I... I assume I have a chatty Meepo on my shoulder, so I don't think I'm stealthy at all. Well, he's oh, actually oh, oh, oh. trying to whisper very uh, carefully into your one. ear. Oh, all right. That was a nat one. I'm <laughs> trying to get you guys a chance to roll a nat 20, but you're doing the wrong way. Okay, let's see what... Um, okay, uh, see you know what? I'm, I'm going to get... <laughs> you're not even going to roll? That's I funny. I to roll. I mean, they're, they're in front of me, so they're the first ones to... Uh... All right, here comes Tarina's stealth check, though. There it is, of course. See, chat, this is why you roll for me, because otherwise <laughs> the DM gets nat 20s. Just like that. Yeah, okay, that's why the chat rolls for me. All right, so next... <laughs> so Tarina is kind of stepping through here super quietly, and he kind of gives you... It gives Meepo a scowl over your shoulders. You're talking too loud, and just ca carries on through. All right. Uh, you get to another doorway, Jetta. What are you doing with it? Um, I'm loud as all get out, probably. <laughs> um, so just I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna burst through. You two think just you, you two still think you're whispering, but it's getting louder and louder without you guys noticing. I yeah. imagine. Oh it yeah, went totally. Something along the lines of this room smells like shit, and then I just burst through the next door. <laughs> Boof! Through the next door, and immediately you see this very long chamber with a couple of alcoves on opposite sides. To immediately to your right, you see a dry fountain. Um, there's stony debris all over the place. There's um, rubble all over the floor. Uh, there's uh, cr the the wall. The flagstone is cracked and and crumbling. Um, but you do, the thing that captures your attention immediately as you walk in is this fountain. Because it is, first of all, it's dry, but it's got this relief of a dragon uh, in front of it. And, um, uh, and you also, yeah, no, you, just this relief of a dragon over top of this fountain. You do also notice that there is a door on your left-hand side that has the really another relief of a dragon carved into it, too. So there's a lot of stuff to look at in this room. Oof, yeah. Um, does anything seem like... Step in here as well? I don't know, just like historical in nature? Huh, there's a thought. If you go Drag over to that fountain, you could roll a history check if you'd like. I will try. Dragon, Dragon looks the same as the one on the coffin? Uh... There it is. Oh, they don't... Oh, they... Oh. Okay! Okay! The dragon looks like a dragon. The one on the coffin was a it had some minor differences, but I, I mean, you could roll a history check too to see if you could discern the difference between the types of dragons you're seeing in here if you wanted to. Um, 
nonetheless, the Jed is actually you not know Jed is. Yeah, Jed is just going to get this right now because she just snap twenties this. Why not? So the whole basically what you get from this, this ob obviously this whole structure has had a, ver a variety of different changes to it over the years. It's like it's had a variety of different occupants, but every single um, thing that had to do with dragons seems to have been uh, kept. So it kind of makes you feel as though the very first inhabitants of this place, before it sunk into the large crevasse that you're currently in, must have been dragon worshippers or dragon followers of some sort. Um, in this particular case, this relief looks very much like a um, uh, what the, the bone structure and such of a gem dragon, particularly an emerald dragon. And they're, they are quite uh, common in Olivos. Uh, in fact, if you look really carefully at it, you almost get the sense that it might be connected to um, the gem dragon, Baratedinarak. Huh. All right. um... But there's also, as you're investigating, you also do see some runes on it. Ooh. They look dwarvish in nature, but they're not completely... Dwarvish. They look like they're like a like a dialect of uh, dwarvish or something like that. Very old dwarvish. Yo, Hayler, it's the language of your people, I think. <laughs> Let me see. I kinda like so you point and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, you look in at it, and it's definitely dwarvish runes, but it's not the dwarvish language at all. Hmm. It looks like garbledy gook. That doesn't make what the what is this? It's and so some... Meepo looks at it and says, Oh, that's mine! Hmm. It's got, but it's got old Dwarvish runes in it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's you can read along it. with Dwar we, Yeah, we... I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of languages that use dragon's runes. Hmm. Like, your, lang your language uses dragon's runes. Hmm. Points to that. Points to Hanar. Not entirely surprised, but definitely something interesting. Usually, I've heard the story that we or that our language descends from giants, but either way. Do you know what it says? No, no. Yeah, Maple. Uh, oh yeah. It, oh yeah. It says, "Let there be fire." And immediately, as he says this, some uh, roiling red liquid rolls out of the dragon's mouth and out into the fountain. Just and it's staying inside the fountain. It's not like it's bursting forth like a lava fountain or anything like that. But it is definitely coming, and it is liquid. It's not lava. It doesn't even feel hot. Huh. huh. And and Meepo looks and says, "Whoa! Huh. Looks like I did magic, that." Meepo. Yeah, looks like your magic. I want... Okay, I'm going to get the, the the chat. Chat, help me out. I need you to roll for me uh, something as well, because I got I need to decide whether or not Meepo's going to do something here. So go ahead and roll for me, if you don't mind. All right. Um, what else are you guys doing while Meepo's kind of exploring this? Or are you guys going to do something too? Oh! Love it. You said that... <laughs> love it. Does the Relief of the Dragon have any, uh, any of this draconic written on it? Um, the relief of the dragon on the fountain or on the door on the other side? On the door. Okay, so on the other door, there is some draconic on it as well, but as you get closer to that door, it feels... You, you notice, and uh, there is a very noticeable temperature change as it drops. It's a little bit cooler. Um, Meepo is going to put his finger in the water. Or his little claw in the, in this strange red liquid puts it puts finger in. Just about to do that myself. So. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It's, it's nice to role play the worst adventure ever. That was that was Pengin that actually decided that Pengin rolled rolled a nat twenty. So here you go. Here's your nat twenty, Pengin. Um, on that, I, it was going to be eleven or higher. He was going to stick his finger in it. So <laughs> it was meant yeah, to be. he puts his finger in. And actually, because you rolled a nat 20, here we go. He puts his finger in. And what you don't, immediately Meepo starts to talk, but instead of talking, fire jumps out of his mouth. And he's like, 
Henar is literally laughing as hard as humanly possible. He's just rolling on the floor right now, losing it. Pop! 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 It just fire. Just every time he opens his mouth, is it fire comes shooting out of it. We got ourselves an impromptu fire thrower, boys. <laughs> I don't actually know what happened to my Meepo token, so I, I'm going to have to move people around and see if I can find them. There he is. So, Meepo currently has Fire Breath. I want it! <laughs> and Jenna goes over to the fountain. And... Oh, oh no, Jenna, don't, don't, don't do that! Maybe it's like an, a potion. Maybe we should bring it. Like, put it in a um, vial or something for later. Yeah, I'll put it in a little <laughs> container. <laughs> Meepo takes a swallow and... Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How do I do it again? And, and... He try. he's like experimenting with his own breath. And he coughs. And because Dak said it in the chat, I have to do this now. Okay. He coughs. And fire comes out the front. And out the back as he farts while he also coughs and it comes out the other end. So now he's now walking. He's now waddling like a penguin, holding his butt cheeks together to make sure he doesn't do it again, and holding his uh, his claw over his mouth. All right. Okay, don't cough. Oh, well, it looks now like I'm... you're magic now, lad. Oh. Now I'm definitely not gonna taste it. <laughs> no, I do want to take some of that with us. I definitely bottled it up. Okay, cool. So, uh, mark in your inventory a potion of fire breath. Mm -hmm. okay, you and you guys can take as much of, of that as you like. Fire fart. Fire fart, yeah. fire fart yes. Yep. Potion of fire fart if it's a kobold. Yep. <laughs> I came Meepo's mixture. That's Meepo's, Meepo's elixir. I love it. Okay. Um, it's labeled in my inventory as potion, as potion of fire fart. So. Marvelous. And, and just to be clear, any indication that you guys thought you were being sneaky is now gone. Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Okay. So, Haynar, you're now hanging around this door with a uh, dragon relief carved into it, and you have noticed that very significant change in temperature. What are you going to do he, about that? Okay, he gets up, basically, after after literally busting a gut laughing. He just gets up, picks up his ass, and goes, All right. Oh, hey, Jenna. Come here. I need you, some, of your, uh, some of your magic. This one, uh, this door has probably some strange uh, some strange stuff going on with it. I need you to cast uh, that, uh, what is it? Uh, detect magic. That's it. <laughs> That'd be great if I had it prepped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I got rid of it so it can heal your asses. You mean heal him? <laughs> and point to the point to the the the, the new found super powered fucking uh, kobold. <laughs> right. Go, Meepo looks to you says, and I'm thankful for it. And a little smoke comes out as he's speaking it. Oh, it does. Did somebody say they need to detect magic? I mean, you you know I can do that just by... Aye, right, but every time I ask you to do something, you think you're going to die, so I try to avoid it. <laughs> That's only one time a day, though. It's all oh. you, Bob. All you. Wait, so what does... What needs detecting? You sit... Put your hand over that door. Don't touch it, just put your hand over it. Which door are you talking to? The one on the left? The, the, ah, this yeah. one right here. Right there. And I open it. Open. You go to open it? Yes. <laughs> Alright. It's locked. Oh, it's locked. I, I, oh, wait, I, you, said, you said didn't touch it. Oh, I touched it. Sorry. Yeah. And you wonder why you end up dead all the time. I'm going to actually get you to roll a... <laughs> What's, what, what is this? This is going to be a dexterity... No, I don't know what this... Yeah, let's make it a dexterity saving throw. So good in dex. <laughs> Three. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! All right, let's get this. Here comes the roll. It is a 1d6. 
that. Okay, so as you reach to, uh, to check the door, um, a large blade swings down from the roof and just slices at your hand and c cuts, ac cuts across right above, right the top of your hand, causing you three points of sla slashing damage. And uh, it just well, disappears back up into the roof. I would imagine it also slashes a little bit off my afro. Uh, it's very definitely. Hey, no. Your afro is now very much angular. It's an asymmetrical sword cut. In, sword in the, in the ceiling. I mean, I, I usually don't touch things haphazardly, and I told you not to. Did not. That's normally somebody checks it out first, rolls a perception check or something. Right, right. That's why I told you not to touch it. Oh. <laughs> I thought you would do So, Bob, perception. I'm going to get you. How is it? All right, whatever. Look. Let's just keep keep going down. Uh, more likely, ever since our uh, friend developed his new magic powers, is more likely ever anybody that knows we're here knows we're here. So no sense of being. You guys, but shouldn't we use the? You guys both look over to. Yeah, you but you guys both look over to Meepo as you're like gesturing to him, and he's sitting there kind of practicing blowing a little bit of spurt of fire out of each nostril. <laughs> How to train your kobolds. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, but he, he, he just says, like, hmm, good point. I, and he says, sir, hey, Maple, you still got that key? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, yes, I do. All right, use your milfile should... powers to go go stick that key into that uh, into that lock over there. If is that it a, a trap that resets, by the way, or is it an, like it's been it, sprung it looked like way? It looked like the blade went back up into the roof, into the ceiling. Careful for the blade. There's a blade? Okay. Uh, then no! And just hands you the key instead. Uh, I. Alright. So, if that's the case, and I'm going to basically walk over, uh, I saw, like I said, uh, the swords, he points out where it is, so I know how, how uh, what the arc is going to look like, right? Like what the yeah, it's pretty was. darn close to flush with the door, actually. It's like, almost perfectly parallel, probably only a couple of inches away from the door itself. Oh, okay, cool. In that case, uh, let's see what I'm gonna do. I'll go with... Can we, like, maybe we can dismantle it. Mm -hmm. Or, better idea. And what I'm going to do is... Let's see, because I know I have something I can use here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, take uh, take the key, line it up slightly with the lock, not lock it in yet, and then basically uh, step back and poke it in with a torch. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, cool. So you step, you put push the key in with the torch, and it doesn't go in, but it, the scythe does slice down, and it gets stalled on the key, and it just the key, apparently this key is very very strong. <laughs> it just like into the key. And you can actually hear this kind of whirring sound in the back. I cool. quickly, quickly grab the blade to prevent it from uh, springing back into place. Um, okay, so you now got a hold of the blade, Kate. And it's this, it's this large scythe that is now coming down. Now that you can actually see it, it's it's a very much a scythe kind of weapon. Scythe, you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um... All right, it's it's like a, okay. So then, if it's a scythe-like weapon, then basically it's got a it's got a, a shaft, right? Definitely. Okay, cool. If that's the case, or better yet, if it's if it's whirring, it's even easier. That means the gears are exposed, right? Uh, no. Well, you can't see the gears, but you could hear it in the ceiling. Okay, that's easy. I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, tell him to to shove uh, pull with me, and I'm going to grab. Uh, we're go I'm going to grab the uh, the shaft of it and just yank it as hard as I can to uh, jury rig it off of its gears. So All right, cool. Yanking mm. the shaft really hard. Very good idea. <laughs> just pointing it out. Sky. I was gonna Sky. say something along those lines. Oh, I gosh. decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm so uh, busy in all of the other stuff that has to happen <laughs> that I don't actually hear it until somebody points it out to me. It's so, thanks. Explicitly repeated. <laughs> okay, okay, like okay. So, <laughs> in character and see what happens. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Okay, why don't you roll for me a strength check with advantage because you guys are both doing this. Is it just a raw strength check? It's just a raw strength check. Uh, you could go athletics, actually. You could do athletics. Yeah, buddy. Hey! Yeah, buddy. Nicely done. And right, very, it, it feels actually, because you have a fur bulg helping you out with this, and the two of you are no, are no slouches, it dislodges very easily, and you actually yank the whole scythe right out of the uh, of the roof. And cool. the gears just kind of keep on whirring until they just kind of die away. Well, that's one way to do it. Oh, hey, how big is the scythe, by the way? Uh, it, it's not... I would say it's probably a regular-sized scythe. Cool. I'm going to give it to So, Meepo. like... <laughs> okay. Meepo kind of... Okay. There you go, Meepo. And just... Your mighty scythe. I'm learning a lot. I know. It's a... Yeah. Now you can kill people. Safe. You're becoming just like one of those dragon priests old. Ah, and he's just totally enamored with that idea. Oh, man. All right, let's see. Well, we figured that out. Oh, and I'm going to take the key out, of course. Uh, so apparently, how okay. damaged is the key, by the way? Like, how... Uh, just a nick in the handle of it, and that's it. Huh. I'm, I'm going to take a look at this out of curiosity, because... The scythe itself was pretty sharp. It was able to just like straight cleave through the uh, the Furbolg's armor and everything, right? Well, it's just his hands that got hit, I'm right? Not I'm saying, well, either way, still, still, it was pretty. I'm assuming it was pretty sharp, right? Uh, it, scythe was. You'd have to look at the scythe to know for sure. Cool. I said, "Hey, Mepo, hold it out for a second, and I'm going to basically poke a uh, uh, hair out of my beard and just drop it on the blade and see if it splits." Yeah, okay, so Meepo takes the scythe, and he goes, and just kind of swings, and it kind of near, like nearly misses Jetta, um, and just holds it there for you, and um, then kind of does a tilt so that you can try to drop the beard hair on it. And the beard hair sits and just lands on the blade. All right, so not too surprising. All right. Are we giving him weapons now? Hmm? Uh, I think he's just chosen for it. After all, and he just saved him so many times, he's... Gotta be like a champion or something. That's he really just lifts cute. it up and op props yeah. it on his shoulder, and you guys all have to duck as the scythe goes back past your heads. It means next time you fight along with us, little Meepo. Got it. You can defend yourself. Roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Giant He's going in the next battle now because you get you guys have given a weapon. He feels totally <laughs> confident that he can kill anything. You're one of us. So you're one of us now. One of us. One, <laughs> one of us. us. It's a good thing I have spare the time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just. All right, where are you guys going next? Yeah. All right, time to move up. Enough, and, of course. I was gonna sit there. Oh, do you do you want to put uh, Meepo back? Oh, you can't get in there yet. Oh, sorry. I thought the door was open now. That's right. Yeah, I was going to say. You're door... not supposed to be able to actually even get through that. Huh? That's funny. Yeah, nope, door's yeah. not quite open yet. Uh, the I... key couldn't actually get in. I yeah. know you. You always forget that uh, to put that one uh, thing in the in the setting of the. Uh, the Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. That's not even me. I blame the module. I'm going to blame the module for that one. Let me find that setting. Where the heck is that setting? Uh, yeah, screw it. Movement. Ah, oh, there. Got it. Solved. Done. Okay, that feels better with life now. Yeah, yeah Thanks. now I can have... Listen, roll 20. Okay, anyway, that's actually on me, but whatever. Anyway, um... Roll there. <laughs> so are you guys going... You guys are... Carrying on, then? Yep. Yeah, uh, a question. All right, so... Uh, real quick, yes. Question. Are you going to put Meepo back on your shoulder so you have a little Master Blaster situation going on? I'm going to... Now that Meepo feels a little bit more, more confident and feels like he's one of us, I'm going to try and trick him again to be trap bait. So Meepo, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, brave Meepo. It's your time to shine. Take the lead. And kind of takes the scythe, goes out in front, holds the scythe out in front of him. He's like, God, they're going to get fucked up. And just carries, steps out in front of you. Oh, no, he's um, copying your language. <laughs> He's copying you out of like, um, I'm pretty sure I don't it's say pop. fuck that much. It, it just kind of looks at <laughs> with like this, like over the glasses look. If I had glasses, 
Uh, the invisible monocle yeah, over, yeah, the, yeah. over the monocle. Like, Love it. Yeah, okay. Really now? <laughs> I guess the first thing he did here after I saved him was shut the fuck up, so that makes sense. So you with you two with dark vision who are leading this charge right now, you can see quite a ways in down this <laughs> corridor. And what you see down here are, of course, there's a door to the left immediately, uh, but there's also a number of chambers that appear uh, beyond. You, if you were to quickly count, you'd probably see about six chambers that are, uh, and they all seem to be ajar. The doors to them seem to be ajar. The area smells really musky. Um, and you can, uh, for uh, Jetta, who is actually kept keeping track of the tracks, the rat tracks are very plentiful here. Ooh. <sighs> you still see the humanoid tracks, but the rat tracks are very plentiful here. Um, so I would just say, let's be careful. We might run into some rat friends again. I basically sit there and say, I, I, I hold up for a second. I said, I bet you two gold coin. We walk up there. There are goblins at the end of the hallway with the ambush us. Behind there are pins that they have their giant rats in to flank us. Be right back. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Well, left or straight? Well, that's right. You are a mighty. You are a mighty dragon priest now. So, of course, <laughs> the cards. Fire. Okay. Hey, me. Uh, All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you my blessing. And I'll tap him on the shoulder and give him the blessing oh, of the what? trickster. Now you'll be super quiet. Kinda pointless now. But uh, right. I'm supposed to be quiet? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, no. It, Let's roll a stealth check. Yeah, she's saying you'll be invisible. I'll be invisible? Mm, I, I can see myself. Can you guys see me? Oh, we can, but they can't. Trust me. <laughs> You're not invisible. <laughs> You're just... Quieter. No, she's she's ah. on It's another pirate. Am I supposed to be quiet? Am I supposed to be quiet? Nah, um, you don't have to worry. To well, there are things in here that might try to kill us, so it might be a good idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chat, roll me Meepo stealth check. The misadventures of the mighty Meepo. <laughs> That's right. Alrighty, that is a roll call to the chat. Alright. Oop, I didn't type that right. Oops, let me try that again. You're rolling me a stealth check. Advantage too. That's right, he will have advantage. So we'll take two rolls. We'll take take the best of the two rolls. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh let's do this. Uh Dak roll Ooh. Uh Dak did, but it's with advantage, so Pengen, go ahead and roll it in. It's gonna happen. Um, meanwhile, so while that roll is coming into the chat, uh, Meepo decides, it kind of starts moving, it kind of looks over his shoulder at you guys, and says, straight, and stakes, uh, to, very quietly moves forward. Um, or what he thinks is quietly at any rate, um, it's kind of like an average person sneaking through. Um, except that you can hear the claw. You, you guys can only barely hear the claws, but he's definitely trying. He's definitely trying to be very stealthy. Nice one, you guys, in the chat. Um, and just kind of peeks forward. Just kind of shakes head. I, I, I peeks look forward, at peeks forward. Yeah, I look, I look forward at Meepo and tell him to uh, peek at one of those rooms. Or point to one of the rooms. Okay, okay, okay. And kind of steps up. And let's make sure we get this lighting right, because... Oh, yeah, that's nice and easy, actually. Um, he kind of looks to the left. He's... Looks to the... Goes over to the room in the right. There's nothing there. Okay, and I'm going to leave that. I'm going to do one more roll call here uh, for the chat. I can't tell you why. I'm just telling you I'm doing it, please. Um, but he looks into this other room and says... It's steps forward, kind of gestures for you guys to come follow up. He shrugs and basically moves forward. Okay. And... So he says, okay, 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 okay. Uh, and... He takes another step forward. Checks the one on the left again. Nice. Okay. 
And as he steps there, you can see something kind of reach out, jaws of some sort reach out at Meepo. I want you guys to roll investigation. Or sorry, roll, roll initiative. Let's do this initiative. It's oh, initiative. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Investigation. In initiative. That's what we're doing. Hey, nice. Oops. I forgot to click my thingy, so I'll take the yeah, first click roll. The for sure, for sure. And let's get... Oh, what is that for uh, kobolds as well? Right. Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, one D twenty plus two. Okay, so this will be Meepo. Oh, look at that! Nat twenty for Meepo. He's Gotta a love warrior. it. He is my warrior. I don't understand why Meepo is so important all of a sudden. Um, like if he keeps this up, uh, a uh, hand arm may make him a little set of like leather armor or something. I got Smith. Though. Right. Yeah, I'm just proficient in Smith's tools, so. <laughs> the mighty dragon priest, Meepo. Oh, I didn't do that right. And when Bob gets back, we'll have him roll initiative as well. Alright, so let's get these guys in here. Initiative. Where are we? Where's my initiative button? Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Oh, I gotta get rid of some things here, apparently. I apparently didn't clear this out from the last one. So, Jetta, you got a... 14. Yep. Okay. Haynar got the 19. Yep. Uh, Tarina, we're going to just say he's going to take the dodge action the entire time. Oof. And, oh, Bob, don't forget to hit your token. Or did you do that? First. I was already in Okay, so 4.11. Got it, Kate. This is Meepo. Uh, let's add you. And then let's also add... Wow, that's there's a ringtone. Okay, yeah. uh, Meepo was 22, and the giant was 8. Okay, let's put this in order. Meepo gets to go first, so Meepo kind of comes around the corner and just immediately swings with the scythe. Uh, we're going to roll him. His attack. He's not proficient, but he, he's got some dex skills. Oh. Uh, no, no, he swings, and then ah, bonus actions is fire breath, right? Let's find that fire breath. Ocean of fire. Is it a little sucker? Uh, thing, let's right? see here. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a big sucker. Because the it's a big are one. Heavy, right? And he is small, so can he even swing that thing? <laughs> oh god. No, that would probably be with disadvantage. Good call. Good call. So let's see what. Just for just no, for no, story no, flavor, no, let's get the disadvantage. Time. Yeah. No, I appreciate that because I'm because there's a lot of things to catch. So the five is still still sticks, but um, let's see here. Okay, so uh, he breathes out some fire, and let's get some actual proper mu music on this too, because it does this doesn't quite feel right. We got to get some um, actual battle stuff going on here. There we go. That's a bit better. This is the, the cold right. equivalent of fighting a giant a dire wolf. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna get a dexterity save from a giant rat, and the rat is like very big compared to Meepo, uh, but the, it does not save on the fire breath, and so takes. Oh wow! Holy crap! This potion of fire breath is bitching. Okay. Um. We should go back and get some more. No kidding. That's running the Holy now. Hannah. Holy just crap! Oh fill my fill. God. Let's just <laughs> fill and fill our pockets <laughs> and then just sell the stuff for <laughs> lots, and lots of gold. Just oh, retire. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so this fire, and you see Meepo just kind of go, Gah! and this massive wall of fire just empties out into this room, and you can act, it's so much that it's actually spilling out of the room back over top of his head. You know how fire likes to curl behind you? It just, yeah. right through there, and, and um, yeah, that, 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 that rat is no more. Um, <laughs> There's nothing left. I don't even know what attacked him. And he's like, oh, Done! And that, Hanar, it's your turn, but you do hear some scritching from one of the other cells. From this cell in particular. Cool. 
easy. Gonna raise my, uh, was it raise my axe right over my head? The first thing that pops its head out to try and knock Meepo gets an axe. Okay, so you're readying your action then? Yep. All right. Jetta, you would have also, after the fire wall nonsense happens, jeez, <laughs> um, uh, you will hear scritching from the other from that other cell as well, and okay. you can see Haynar's now prepared. Um. Yeah. So oh, I'll say. actually, sorry, just to be clear about something, Bob, you said it, because he's got the scythe, it's uh, and it's he heavy. He should be going with a disadvantage, except that he had the blessing of the trickster, so it would have been straight roll. Not that it mattered, but still. So, um, hearing the scurrying, I'll say, way to go, Meepo. And then, um, is there a way I can, like, I'll take hmm. this advantage on it, but is there a way I can, like, fire <coughs> sacred flame into the cell? Uh, you could, is, what you, what is it, do you, do you need to see the creature in sacred flame? Um, oh, it's a deck save anyway, actually, never mind. Right, but do you still need to see them in order to be able to send it? Uh, let me check. It just says up uh. to two creatures within five feet on it. Up to two creatures within five feet. Uh, there, is that a little bit better? My stream at all. Ah, why is it doing that to me? Why, 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 why? Okay. Um... Okay, so then if that's the case, then can you actually post the the, yeah. the sacred flame real quick for me, please? Uh, no, 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 you gotta post it. Um, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. The target. No, just random. Okay, yeah, you could. So I guess you could totally do it. Uh, dexterity save is. Let's roll that out. One d twenty plus uh, that. Uh, yeah, it doesn't save. So, yeah, your sacred flame goes through. And all you can hear is this little this kind of squeaking sound coming from the other end. Okay. And you, but but you don't know what happened to it because you don't see it. Gotcha. All right. So that way, I'll back up just one square to make more room for the others to go in. Just since I don't know if it's dead or not. Get myself back in there somehow. My stream! Come on, stream! Work with me here. Or, you know, don't. Whichever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can get this to fix. I think last time just turning uh, it on and off uh, helped, right? Hmm. Oh! I, I also... This is, a, this is a little meta, but I am kind of curious. Do pack tactics apply to us when it comes to Meepo? At least for his bonus. We just said he's one of the groups, so I would say yes. I, I, I don't know how it's worded. I, I just that's said he's thing. one of us like a minute ago. So. No, I understand that. I just don't know how they... I'm assuming it'd be a ruling or something. But it says... Uh, no, because Pack Tactics say allies, don't they? They don't say just specifically other kobolds. I think so. Allies. Yeah. I did save his life. I mean, Me yeah, too. he's... I also, I also healed him once. <laughs> I gave him encouragement. Uh, Maybe not if you were, Probably not if you are standing next to him. He probably does not view you as that. What are you talking about? I made him believe in himself. That's the most important thing you can do. I gave him confidence. You can't heal that away. You can't heal his securities uh, away. So as long as he stands next to us, he can uh, he can attack with normal rolls, I would say. All right, but that should I'm, I'm be not, a I'm little bit better. Team. That's weird. Okay, but I can't hear you guys now. Why can't I hear you guys? Uh, yeah, that's a thing that happens. Let's try this instead. Alright, yeah, still can't hear you. Mm -hmm. What is we're going not, on? We're not, we're not talking, so maybe now. You guys can, I'm hoping you guys can hear me, but that's not going to be helpful at all. Um, alright. Oh, there we go, that'll solve it. All right. Ah, technology, don't you just love it? Can you guys try me again? Mm -hmm. We can hear you. All right, you can hear me, but I don't know if I got everything else set up, so let's get everybody in the right... Yeah, we do. We're good. We're good. 
Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, don't you just love the technology? What were, where were we leaving off? Uh, we were, I believe it was... Was it... Did Jenna do her turn? I don't know if uh, she did. Yeah, I just... Um, the red stone. It's a red stone. <laughs> right, so next one is the rat's turn. So, um, because I can actually look in there... Um, yeah, there's no movement left from the uh, chamber that you were just in. However... Uh, there is movement that comes out from the other chamber, and so <laughs> while I'm trying to get my roll 20 going again here, um, it's going to come out and it's going to attack Jetta. So I'm going to use the chat to roll this instead. So uh, it's going to come and attack Jetta. Oh, let's see here. That will be a... Um, that's... So chat tells me it did not like that. Oh, of course it won't like that because I don't have them fires in it. So let's just try this. There we go. That's the one. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely going to hit because it's an 18 plus 4 yep. to hit you. Uh, and so it's going to take some... You're going to take a just a moderate amount of damage or more. <laughs> Let me find it here. Giant rat. Yeah, where did the giant rat come from? Eh. The other uh, it came from up north, from a little bit higher oh, okay. up. Okay, gotcha. I'll bring it out here in just a sec. Gotcha. Uh, I gotta use the bathroom real quick, so I don't know if basically I need to wait because of my reaction or anything like that. Uh, uh, your reaction was if anything came up to hit um, yeah, uh, Meepo. Nothing has come to hit Meepo yet, so okay, cool. uh, here comes the attack from a biting uh, rat. Uh, and it was the five points, because we already... Uh, hey, that was the exact same roll as was in chat. How marvelous. Um, so, yeah. The... Let's pop you out. There you go. The rat comes out of this room and takes a snip at you, to giving you five points of damage, Jetta. Okay. And that will end the rat's turn. Um, Bob, it's yours. All right, and... Use the bathroom real quickly. I'll tell you when I get back. Sean, sounds good. I see the rat attacking Yeda. And take three stones again, three pebbles from my pocket. Swirl them around like David Bowie. Swing one and throw one at one of the rats. Alright. Magic stone. Here it comes. It's a little bit laggy for me. Oof, not one. That's all right. Oh, and that. Ooh, and that one while you're throwing a rat, uh, throwing a stone at a rat. Don't hit me. Oh. <laughs> all right. One, it hits Meepo. Two, it hits Jetta. Anything else, it hits. It just goes wildly off, off target. <laughs> it hits key, it, he, it hits Meepo. So, um, you yeet one of these... Okay, go ahead and roll your oh, your damage. Two points of damage. Just smacks Meepo in the side of the head. Ah! And looks at... And kind of cough of fire comes out as he kind of squelch... As kind of screams in, in pain at you. Meepo is now... <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry, Meepo. Meepo... <laughs> Meepo looks... He's... <laughs> Kind of goes back over to the giant and takes one step forward. Looks over at you, Jetta. Winks. Fire breath. <clears throat> right across this uh, lovely little giant rat. The rat needs to do a deck save again. And that is a... Jeez! My... Mm. Why? Why? Why can't my rats do anything okay um yeah so that's i mean you know what i'm going to get somebody else because it seems to me that i'm the only one who's actually rolling a lot of dice here and i want somebody else to do it so jetta because he winked at you and was doing this uh, it seems like it feels like he was actually doing this for you um roll the 4d6 for me okay Meh. yeah <laughs> and so you could see the flame coming out of his face and it's it's powerful, but it kind of burns all of the dust 
beyond this rat as well for about 10 extra feet. And as it's done, the rat just is this like, it's the shape of, a, uh, it's, it's still the rat shape, but it's completely charred and black and ashen. And so, yeah. But you guys pause for a moment. Afterwards. And it, 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 the Meepo kind of looks and says, Got your back. And that actually takes us right out of initiative. <laughs> you guys Meepo, hear nothing you else. And he's just like, he's almost panting, like like a really happy dog. He's panting. Um, so, kind of take a couple of moments to like, gather the calm and take stock of the rooms. So what are you guys going to do now that you have nothing else here? And Dak, I will use that roll before the game's done. Hmm. Um, I'm kind of curious what's right up in front of us. Okay, so roll an investigation check then for me, please. While you're checking that stuff that's right out in front of you. Okay. As I walk through the hallway, I peek into all the cells to the left and the right. For sure. So, peeking would have you do a perception check then, please. Okay. So as you kind of step towards that room, oh nice. Okay, um, as you, we'll start with Jetta's first. Jetta, as you step a little bit towards that room, you see another big fountain like the one you got the fire breath potion from, uh, and it's also dry as well. Uh, the um, there, what you, but you also notice that there's some disturbed ground immediate. I mean, aside from the fact that the fire just kind of blasted away a bunch of dust, it actually helps to reveal. That there is a bit of a pit trap right at the front end of this doorway and i'm actually because of that fire i'm going to draw that pit trap for you guys so you guys can see it because that would definitely have revealed it okay okay so there's cool, that pit trap for you guys so um and then you add because you rolled pretty well you feel like there's something else to where like you can see a door to the left you can feel feel like there's something else in front of that door that might be trappy as well although you don't know from here you can't really tell what kind of trap okay. it is but it's definitely in the floor um, but that's what you could see in this room at this point. Okay. Bob, as you're looking into a, the first two rooms, you don't see much of anything except for what used to be probably rat nests, but they, they also look like they haven't been used for a long time. So when you step around mm -hmm. the corner to look in one of these other two rooms, which room are you going to check out first, left or right? I'm not really going to step in, just like, pop my head in a little bit to see if it's empty or not. Like see the yeah, okay, but which, uh, the left but which one? Left, left one. Okay, so you to peek into that left one, and much like you, like the other uh, rat that's just kind of kept its shape, this one is also, you see a uh, rat behind the door that has kept most of its shape, except for its head has actually already fallen off. Um, and otherwise, it's just like this puff of ash in front of you. But you do also notice, because... Meepo also burned away the entire rat's nest, that there's some shiny stuff in there. Ooh. Step in. Check what it is. Alright. Stick my hand find into it the here. ash. Okay, so, what you find in that ash, and what you find in the shiny bits, roll an investigation check to find out. Jetta, what were you going to do? Um, seeing that there's, um, traps in this next room, I wouldn't want to go in there quite yet, so I'll help Bob kind of case the cells. <laughs> Net 20 on the investigation for that. 20, <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it. Alright, so, with that Nat 20, you find everything. You yeah. find... <laughs> okay, um, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. They gave me rolls to tell you what you found, so I'm going to run with these rolls. You find 12 silver pieces. They gave me rolls. Uh, you you find... can yourself. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did not. I'm not. I can't take ownership of that. This is Wizards of the Coast. Skinned uh... for all of us. Let's be real about this. You also find three gold. And, ooh, this is going to be fun. Um... Yeah, okay, so you find... You also find uh, three... 
uh, gems. An amethyst, a uh, one of them is kind of this milky, uh, milky white colored uh, gem, uh, and it, but it's also super tiny. It is ridiculously tiny. If you want to know what kind of gem it is, you'd have to roll a history check. Uh, or a nature check, actually. A nature check would work, too. So you get an amethyst, you get an emerald, and you get this other really, really tiny one because you rolled a nat 20 to get it. I'm giving you a special one. Seeing uh, the party is already on the move, I will just pocket them and show them later to the rest. All right, all right. I got to write myself a message so I don't forget about that then. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where am I going that? I'll write it in here. Welcome back. Okay, so here's what you have missed so far. Um, a trap has been unearthed by way of Meepo's wonderful fire breath. At the very front, at front of that next room, where you can see in the square box, you uh -huh. can also... Uh, Bob has also gone investigating and has been very, very successful in doing so. Cool. Oh, dang. Oops, I can't. Alright, it's just fucking dead. Alright. Oh, yeah. They're all done. They are, like, Meepo killed two by themselves. <laughs> and, yeah... They are, they, the way I've described the, the remnant corpses are still in the shape of a giant rat. Just, it's like somebody molded them out of like ash and clay to look exactly like a giant rat. Um, let's give you a chance to do something that you would want to do then, Hanar. What would you want to do? Me? Well, let's see. We've unveiled a trap, right? You said the trap's right there. It's a pressure plate trap, yeah. right? Yeah. It is not a pressure plate trap, actually. It's a pit. A pit trap. Okay. But it's already been revealed. Like the there's nothing covering it anymore. Yeah. Right. So the idea is literally we just have to step to the side, don't we? So we just have to step to the side right there. Like from a, exactly. a, di a diagonal step for all intents and purposes. Yeah, you just basically kind of grip the wall and roll yourself around the wall if you want to. Cool. Uh, that's what I would do. I'll do okay. that too. And so inside here, you will find that there is... Uh, so, Haynar, you didn't hear the description, but there is another dry fountain there, and it is much like the other one was. But you also see some disturbed... Er, well, Jedha has seen some disturbed earth in front of the other door. Okay, cool. Uh, well, first things first. Oi, Meepo! Got some more translating for ya. Okay, Meepo is gonna step in. There we go. Meepo's going to step in, kind of walking over top of the other thing as well. Or kind of wrapping himself around the wall. Comes up to it and looks to the to the inscriptions that are most undoubtedly there. Bob, I'm going to pull you back one step because you'd notice something real quick here before you go mm -hmm. there. Um, but uh, Meepo, he looks to it and he, says, he reads it and he says, oh. Okay, it says, it says, let there be death. And <laughs> nothing happens. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to say it explodes. Yeah. Yeah, I was ready for just the TPK right there. I think I think And what you what you remember is that the last time he said it, he said it in draconic. Right, right, right. And the last time uh, he got the other minute of Uh, ne, say it in draconic. Don't! Uh, <laughs> step, take a few steps I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in this corner, because I have a feeling I know how this thing works. Yeah. Alright, well, bad. unfortunately, I get to use Dax's rule on this, and so Dax's rule says that Meepo looks at it and says, I'm not sure that's smart. What are you talking about? You're, dra you're a mighty dragon priest. The last one gave me fire. I don't want death. You maybe make it maybe the blossom breath. of a Draco Lich. Who knows? I think Meepo's right on this one. Maybe you get death. Plus, maybe, he did maybe. so well in that battle. <laughs> maybe he you get torched um, all those rats. That was so cool. I the mighty pops Meepo. Up his chest. Bob, what are you doing? Slaying the great rat. Careful though, you might hurt. Uh, you might hurt Elgi's feelings. <laughs> Bob, what maybe are you doing? You get, maybe you get death breath, like Haynar's breath in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh, what can I say? When you, when you break, ah, <coughs> I'm just gonna role play that I'm fucking coughing on dust here. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, sorry about that. Repo is just gonna look back. 
Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, but, Bob, as you were getting close to that door, you kind of noticed the disturbed ground, and you would have very easily noticed it, because it was very obviously disturbed as if to indicate, don't step here. There's this is a bad place the, to go. On the floor here, Hainar. Where are at? Yeah. Over here. And you guys will all be able to see this very clearly right there now. Okay. Oh, great. We gotta get in that door somehow. Well, that being said, I have an idea. Hey, Mepo, come here. And I'm going to uh, slip a rope around his uh, around his waist, and basically just sit there and pat him on the back and say, "Remember, Mipo, you are a mighty hero," and push him right into the, basically the square. <laughs> okay, dexterity saving throw for Mipo was uh, already the, rolled for me. Yeah, the moment so... he does anything, I'm going to basically yank him out. <laughs> okay, anything happens, so I'm literally he... just yank him. Okay. He gets there. He 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 looks to the door. He's like, "Okay," and grasps. Uh, you launch him across the, the what is obviously going to become a hole. He grasps the doorknob, and it uh, and it's not really a doorknob per se. It's like the, a latched door. Grasps the latch, and then pushes the door open and steps in. And that little uh, let's skills. see here. Let's see here. Let's get to the right thing here. Yeah, he had a really great roll that last one. He steps into the door frame right, right here, and he says. Ah, that's where we're going to end it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the mighty Meepo. Jetta, you can already see what's coming. Yep. Good thing I attached yeah. a rope to his waist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. What a ride that was. <laughs> oh, hey, chat. Thanks for hanging out with us. This weird concept of a of a trap, of a of a using a, a kobold for trap bait has turned into a bizarro way of increasing his confidence and convincing him he's a hero. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Go figure, right? And there's well, the know, real. Uh, we won't even have to kill. You he won't be our, have to kill his leader. <laughs> he will be our powerful patron in the future. I don't know. Maybe That's he, right. Maybe he's going to be the patron like, totally. Yeah, who knows? Maybe maybe he'll uh, kill his leader and take over. I don't know. <laughs> or we could kill his leader and put him on the throne. Ooh, don't get the don't get too many ideas. Okay, we're gonna sign <laughs> off to the chat. Chat, thank you guys very much for joining us. Uh, we're gonna raid somebody here soon. Just bear with, bear with me here as I get things set and set it, finish up here. But we'll oh. go and raid somebody here and get something going on here. Okay, all, all right. right.